हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू आर वॉचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम माई नेम इस आयल अग्रवाल आई हैव जस्ट कम्प्लीटेड माई बी टेक इन कंप्यूटर साइंस फॉर माई आई टी गांधी नगर आई एम ऑल्सो गोइंग टू जॉइन डी एश एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर इन अ मंथ दिस वीडियो इज द मोस्ट डिमांडेड वीडियो बाई यू गाइज इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो हेयर आई एम विद अ नाइनटी डेज रोड मै एफ ओ क्रैकिंग अ सॉफ्टवेयर इंटर्नशिप और अ प्लेसमेंट एट अ टॉप प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी नाउ वाई शुड यू लिसन टू मी So for that, I would like to tell you that I have cracked an on-campus internship offer from D. Shaw two years back, which later got converted into PPO. Luckily, so for cracking that internship offer, I solved more than thousand DSA problems in just a span of seven months. I have made a detailed video. on this topic you can uh, check that video out after watching this video obviously in my last 2 months of preparation i solved exactly 642 dsa problems i've also made a video on this topic you can check that out the links are in the description i feel you can trust me now so in this video i am going to tell you what you should be doing if you are left with 90 days for your internship or placement at your college i'm not saying that this roadmap will guarantee you a day zero internship or a placement off but definitely i am saying that if you follow this roadmap you will be 100 times more confident in your preparation you will see a huge increase in your preparation level and obviously if you are preparing well enough your chances of getting selected increases this roadmap is a step by step guide based on the best of my knowledge and i'm confident enough that this roadmap will definitely help you if you find this video helpful do subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends because i feel that coding with your friends makes the journey more fun more exciting and it does not remain boring and monotonous so do share it with all your friends and you can comment down any queries any suggestions which you may have for me i will definitely try to reply to you so for placements and internships we need to focus on four things first is obviously dsa you should have a good command over dsa because nowadays every company be it service based or be it product based company every company asks dsa questions uh, in coding rounds and interviews so we should have a very good command over dsa secondly projects are important thing a resume should have a couple of good projects which we can talk about during the interview which we can present during the interview so that is a must i will tell you where you can make projects from in this time third we should have a decent knowledge of cs fundamental subjects like operating system computer networks dbms that is database management system and object oriented programming many questions are asked on these topics during the interview and fourth point which nobody talks about is the communication is the way you convey your knowledge to the interviewer because if you have the knowledge but you are not able to convey there is no point in having that knowledge right so you should be good at english speaking you should know how to convey your thoughts in english to the interviewer so i have also considered mock interviews in this road map because mock interviews will help you prepare for those actual interviews for a company so sorry to interrupt you guys but apart from dsa some core cs subjects are also very important when it comes to coding interviews one such subject is object oriented programming which is very very important and many questions are asked in the coding interviews that is why i have come up with my own oops course in the language c++ the link is in the description you can check it out already 31 students have enrolled in the course and are enjoying the content you can also be the next one if you want to learn every oop concept in detail and strengthen your oops knowledge go check out the link in the description and do enroll if you like the content let's get back to the video i'm assuming that Whoever is intending to follow this roadmap has basic knowledge of programming language like C++, Java, or Python up to a decent level, and also has some basic knowledge of data structures and algorithms. Like you must have done some standard problems of DSA. Like you should have some basic knowledge of arrays, linked list stacks, and queues. You should have some basic knowledge of algorithms like uh, DFS, BFS, right? Some basic knowledge. I am not demanding a very high level knowledge, but some basic. Like you should have heard of it. You should, uh, you should have an idea of how to write a code, right? So these are the things which I am assuming you have. If you don't have you can add 30 more days to this road map but if you have you can follow this 90 days road map these 90 days will be very harsh on you this is not an easy road map like even i was sweating when i was designing this road map imagining the kind of effort i am demanding from you guys you guys will have to put in 7 to 8 hours daily if you want to you know actually keep up with this road map but trust me if you will do so it will be all worth it so here is the 90 days placement or internship road map okay so i have highlighted some points which i will tell you so these are very important points which you should keep in mind while following this road map first is you have to solve the lead code daily challenge problem every day for 90 days this will help you be in touch with dsa so on lead code there is a feature where lead code actually uploads one question every day which is considered as a lead code daily challenge problem i want you guys to solve that problem every day don't miss out on any day because if you will solve those questions each day you will be in touch with dsa so when uh, you will be preparing for a 
projects when you will prepare for the cs fundamental subjects i want you guys to be in touch with dsa don't disconnect with dsa right second point is very important prepare a revision notepad this should be used to revise dsa questions on a daily basis this technique will do wonders for you uh, in this roadmap we will focus on dsa for the first 40 days and then uh, we will focus on projects and then on cs fundamental subjects then on mock interviews so for the first 40 days when you're preparing dsa that is fine but when after that when you're not focusing that much on dsa at that time this revision notepad will come into play so let's say if you have solved seven dsa questions on a particular day out of which five you were able to solve on your own two you were not able to solve note down those two questions in your notepad and you can write a pseudo code for those two questions in that notepad either a one or two line explanation of the solution or a one or two line pseudo code you can write so what you can do every night you can go through that notepad and revise the dsa questions which you are not able to solve so if you will do this every night this won't be a burden on you and you will see that after 90 days you are able to solve all the questions which are there in the notepad. I have made a detailed video on how to revise, how to maintain this DSA notepad. Uh, you can watch that. I will share the link of the video in the description. Next point is to give two lead code contests in a week. And I have told this many a times that giving contests is a must and how can it be so magical for you when it comes to coding rounds. So now starting with the roadmap, for the first 40 days, we will focus only on DSA. For the next 25 days from day 41 to 65, we will focus on projects. Then for the next 15 days, we'll focus on the CS fundamental subjects like DBMS, OS, CN and OOPS. And then the remaining 7 to 8 days, we'll focus on mock interviews, top interview questions from lead code. So on day 1 and 2, we will cover linked list. I have given the resource from where you have to do and I've also explained, just read uh, these explanations, what I'm telling and whatever I've told, follow that blindly and trust me, after 90 days, uh, you will thank me. Day three and four, we will focus on stacks and queues. Day five, we will focus on hash maps. Day six to eight, we will focus on arrays, sliding window. These topics are very, very important when it comes to interviews. Many questions that have been asked on these topics. Day 9, 10, 11, we will focus on recursion and backtracking. This is again a very, very important topic. It takes time to understand recursion. So if you can devote one or two days more, that is also fine. Day 12 to 14, binary search. So after we have understood recursion backtracking, we will move on to binary search. Then comes the major chunk, which is from day 15 to 21. We are devoting seven days to binary trees and binary search trees. You can watch this playlist from Striver and trust me, this is a God level playlist. You will be a master in binary trees and binary search tree after watching this playlist. Then from day 22 to 29, we will do graphs. Again, I've attached the playlist of Striver. I personally have Follow these playlists and trust me, these are God level. From day 30 to 37, dynamic programming uh, playlist is attached. The resource is attached. Solve a lot of problems from DP. Then day 38 to 40, you can focus on priority queues and you can also side by side focus on greedy problems and tries. So recently, my friend gave a coding round of Uber and the first question which was asked was based on tries. So you cannot ignore tries, right? You cannot ignore any topic. Yeah, these were the first 40 days and I think I've covered everything. Every topic has been covered. You cannot tell me a topic which is not there here. I think bit manipulation is not there here. But if you, ha if you have time, then only you can. You should do bit manipulation. Uh, I've also designed a checklist. So if you have done, if you're done with the topics, you can actually uh, you know, tick mark here. So that will give you a sense of satisfaction that you've completed this much. Okay. And all the resources links are attached. All the playlist links are attached. All the questions links are attached. I hope this will help you. Now from day 41 to 65, we will focus on building a project. So in these 25 days, how will we build a project? So firstly, we will choose a domain which is easier to do. So we will choose web development because I think web development is the most easiest one to learn and then apply. So you can go on to Udemy and take up any of the web development course. I've attached the best web development uh, course link. You can go there and enroll. Beautiful thing about Udemy courses is that they build a project after the course. So you also can build that same project. But after you have built that project, do add uh, some features on your own to uh, make that project look that you have done that project. Okay, so add your personal touch to that project because if 10 people will make the same project that will not have any value. But if you have made that project and have added some more features from your site, then that will have a value. Okay, so do that in the 
in these 25 days i think 25 days are enough to learn web development and do a small project after you have made the project now it's time to prepare a resume so prepare your resume well uh, find a good template i've made a video on how my resume looked like when i submitted it to disha you can check that and then send that resume to your seniors for feedback after the, you have gotten the feedback they will suggest you changes make those changes and finalize your resume which you will submit to the companies after 65 days we will focus upon the computer science fundamental subjects so for the first 4 days we will focus on dbms and sql then for the next 4 days operating system next 4 days computer networks and the next 3 days object oriented programming so i have attached all the resources you can watch that and these are beautiful resources you will not need to watch any other playlist or uh, anything after watching these playlists i have also attached the top interview questions of sql sql is something which are asked highly in the interviews so you will have to practice on sql queries and now you will feel like bhaiya you have given only 4 days to prepare for dbms trust me 4 days for dbms is enough i used to prepare dbms in just 2 days or 1 and a half days for my college examination i have i am giving you 4 days till day 80 we have covered everything we have covered dsa we have built a project we have also focused upon the cs fundamental subjects now with the remaining 10 days what can we focus upon so for the fi for five days you can focus upon solving top interview questions from lead code so these are three links where uh, easy questions are there medium questions are there hard questions are there you can focus on these this will help you a lot on the remaining five days which are the last five days we will practice english speaking communication skills and how to convey our answers to the interviewer so for that i am advising you to give at least 2 to 3 mock interviews so for mock interviews either you can go on online and pay for a mock interview or you can also ask your senior or a friend to prepare questions and then you can do a mock interview with him or her that will help you and if you have time you can also practice company wise questions from geeks for geeks let's say if you have a coding round of uber you can practice company specific questions from geeks for geeks for uber and you can also give a lot of lead code virtual contests uh, or you can also practice questions on dsa topics which you feel you are weak in for example if you feel that you don't feel confident in dp you can solve uh, uh, a lot dp questions in these 5 days so yeah this was the 90 day road map i know these are a lot of questions to solve uh, but actually 90 days is quite less to prepare everything if you already have a good project for your resume you can utilize those 25 days in practicing dsa questions i request everyone to share this road map with all your friends i feel that success comes to people who are mentally stronger and following this road map will require a lot of mental strength from your side this road map might seem overwhelming at first glance but trust me once you start the process uh, slowly and gradually you will sink in uh, with this road map and at any point of time you feel that okay i'm not able to cope up you can slow down the process please try to enjoy the process because if you will not enjoy the process you will end up not following this road map after 5 days or after 7 days but if you will enjoy the process you will enjoy giving contest you will enjoy solving questions you will enjoy building a project you will enjoy learning something new uh, related to dbms or os or cn you will actually be able to complete this road map more easily as compared to those people who are not enjoying who are just doing it for the sake of an internship or a placement offer i hope you enjoyed watching this video i will meet you in the next one till then keep learning keep growing and stay healthy